In what is yet another example of every accusation being a confession, the former head of a Christian conservative voter outreach group has been arrested for possession of child pornography. Because, of course, Jason C. Yates, former CEO of My Faith Votes, has been charged in Minnesota with eight felony counts of possession of child pornography after a relative came forward with a hard drive containing more than 100 sexually explicit images and videos involving children under the age of 14, including eight involving children between the years of five and seven, reported Religion News Service. So, for one, like, disgusting, okay? Secondly, props to that family member. Yes! A relative had accidentally discovered the hard drive in the 55-year-old Yates' office and gave the device to another relative, who then turned it over to law enforcement. So, two relatives. All right! That's great. Um, I mean, it's terrible that he had these in the, in the first place, but glad that there's those relatives that actually do care about children, as opposed to Mr. Yates. Uh, now, investigators had met with Yates on September 13th, and were like, look, we got this hard drive uh, that's got some stuff on it. Um, why don't you give us the password so we can get the encrypted files? He didn't. He refused uh, because he knew what was he knew what was on it, uh, and decided, no, no, I'm not going to play along with this. Uh, no, yeah, if you want these, if you want to see what I've been up to, you're going to have to crack into it yourself. Okay, well, that's what they did. So now he also uh, apparently had revealed that he had a prior conviction that had been expunged related to child sexual abuse materials. This this guy was uh, allowed to be. Uh, an evangelical group leader and yet had this prior? Wow. That's horrible. Explains a lot, though. Um, I, I, are, are you saying that Jesus didn't fix you? Shocker. Shocker. Uh, now, Yates had served as CEO and president of the Evangelical Outreach Organization until early August when he was replaced by board member Chris Sadler. And just a few weeks before the hard drive was discovered, he had published an op-ed in the Washington Times urging Christians to oppose sexually deviant messages aimed at children through LGBTQ issues. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to protect the children. Seems like the children need protection from you. Here's what he wrote. This infernal programming is being downloaded into our children, and it becomes far easier when it finds no resistance in our public square, when it is allowed to fill the void left by the absence of our faith. Really? Um, I mean, you, you claim to uh, have no no absence of faith, right? Uh, and yet you were trying to fill the void with child pornography. What does that say about you? And don't, and don't say, okay. It's the devil, okay? No, this is all you, okay? This is all you, all right? I, I know, they, they always want to claim, no, 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 it's, it's something else. It's not human intelligence! No, it, it is. It is, it's, it's you. It's you. You're the infernal programming, okay? You have something wrong with your brain, all right? You've got something wrong with you, all right? Uh, now, <laughs> I, no, I, I, okay, I, it, what really frustrates me here is, oh, see, it's the LGBTQ people that are, that are the real problem. They're, they're the real danger to the children. No, you are. <laughs> You're the danger, okay? You're the problem. This is, this is not, I got to point out, this, he's not a drag queen. Okay, not a member of the LGBTQ community. All right. No, you're, you're a right wing white evangelical. Every single time, every single time. Look, my faith votes, by the way, whose honorary national chairman is Mike Huckabee. All right. It's part of a loose network of nonprofit organizations that have been rallying support for Donald Trump through get out the vote operations. Hey, uh, you know what? Um, I think that if you're going to do this, then you should pay taxes. Your organization should. 
right? Um, you want to play the game, pay the toll, all right? That's all I'm saying. Now, Yates asked the evangelical Christians over the summer to sign a pledge to vote in every election. Here's that pledge. As a Christian, I commit to voting for candidates and policies that uphold the sanctity of life, the traditional family, religious liberty, and justice for all. Well, it, apparently, except for the victims of child trafficking that you are downloading onto your computer to jerk off to. Apparently, their rights uh, don't matter, okay? Um, apparently, there's no justice for them in your worldview, okay? Uh, the pledge also reads, I believe that my biblical values should, should guide my choices at the ballot box, ensuring that our nation's laws and leaders reflect God's truth and righteousness. What, what's righteous about this? What, what's, what's righteous about what you're doing, about what you enjoy? Nothing. What's pro-life about any of this, by the way, too? Nothing. Nothing. Okay? That, all, all they care about is themselves. They, people like this are sick and, and only want to stay in charge so they can keep preying on the vulnerable. Why do you think you see so many right-wing evangelical leaders that are preying on children? It's because they have access to them. And it's because these positions are, it, it makes it so easy to abuse others, okay? And look, they're able to, they're able to stay in these positions by preaching hate and ignorance and getting people to hate LGBTQ people, right? And use them as a scapegoat for their own indiscretions. It's not gay and trans people that are the problem, right? That are going out there. It's not the drag queens that are the problem. No, no, it's people like him. And, and by the way, people like, look at Russell Brand, all right? A, a great example, this guy gets accused of a number of cases of sexual misconduct. And suddenly, one including a 16-year-old, suddenly, oh, uh, I am pro-God. I have been baptized in the waters of Jesus. I am a believer, and I believe in God and Donald Trump. What? What? By the way, Trump has been accused of rape and sexual assault. And it's in the record that he raped E. Jean Carroll in a department store. So, you know, that, that's, that's who both of, the, of these people and a lot of these people actually end up supporting people who do and, and, and are accused of doing the most heinous things, sexual crimes. Is it any surprise, though, uh, that all these people are always talking about how, oh, we're such good Christians, uh, you know, and, and, and the, real, the real problem is uh, the LGBTQ people. The godless uh, liberal left, they're, they're trying to destroy us, you know? They're trying to destroy our faith. No, no, no. In reality, the people that have destroyed your own faith are you, who apparently never had it to begin with, because you're preying on the most vulnerable of God's children, the actual children. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.